Good job. Five guys for five titles. I'm excited to finally say what is coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's What's up guys? Want to give you the latest flavor drop of Glycoject. Glycoject now in strawberry lemonade. Seven long years it's been since I came out with a new flavor of Glycoject, but because of popular demand and people asking me, when are you gonna come out with a new flavor of Glycoject? Well, now you have it. Strawberry lemonade is now available. You can use this pre-workout to mix with your EVP Extreme NO, EVP 3D, or even EVP AQ. Intro workout with Amino Chem, or you can do it with our new Ice Jet Clear. So strawberry lemonade's a great refreshing flavor. Check it out, evagenutrition.com. All right guys, this is the absolute last workout before the 2023 Mr. Olympia. So we're gonna have a very busy day. We have Hottie, Derek, and Seabum doing their final workouts. So everyone's got some slightly different nuances and what they need, but we're gonna work with them individually and then go into the final check-ins for the men's open Olympia later tonight. So it's gonna be a really crazy day. Let's go do this.
15 minutes before, 14 minutes before I went to make that post today of me and you, Seabum made it, like the exact same type of post. Oh, really? I'm like, <laughs> I haven't seen it. This guy. Yeah. I'm always more heartfelt, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. That's a bigger apple. <laughs> for the teacher. Apple for the teacher. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. It's time. Do a couple reps and see how it feels. Get a good contraction. So let's see. Okay. There you go. Squeeze. Open your hands up so you can get those fibers to all fire. Good. Go. Excellent. Good. This was really, really good. Yep. Push with your left pec, and then squeeze with your fingers. Right on your Sorry, chest. Right. Squeeze there. Feel the chest. As I feel. Yeah, I feel it. Okay. Those are the things that you're supposed to be looking for, right? Like, hey, how how much fullness am I getting in there? How hard does that feel as I'm getting that fuller, carved up feeling? Right. Yeah. You got this. You got this. Good. Go. Go ahead. Go. I don't know if you said 10 or again. 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 You been eating? Not yet. <laughs> you been sleeping? Yeah, I did get some sleep last yeah. night. Thank God. I did get sleep. That's the only thing that's saving me right now. Yeah. Well, you're not doing energy drinks, are you? No, I did this morning on the way here because I was trying to get my calf, get, get calf I need yeah. so I can be able to get focused. And then I'm going to take actually uh, some brain builder because Ooh. I missed my dose of Brain Builder this morning. That's a good and that's going to make a big difference. Don't you just feel like clear-headed more? Much more. It gives you a lot of mental clarity. And the caffeine's not high. It's just uh, 100 milligrams Just like a caffeine. little bit of like pick-me-up. Yeah, it gives you a little pick-me-up, but it just gives me a little bit more mental clarity. Yeah. And I use it a lot when I'm formulating too, so it helps me with being able to create recollection and connectivity. Is it, is it the weather? Yeah, I was like, he seems happy. Yeah, he seems happy. Yeah, I was like, damn. Yeah, I was like, damn. Yeah, I, like, damn. I'm playing. I know Honey, bro. I'm, I'm just because usually I, he's busting my balls because normally I'm busting his. He's like this. No, because I'm always like this. Because he, he knows, he bro, knows that like I like you know to. How hard it is, bro, to breathe, dude. <laughs> all right, let me tell you how it goes. All right, this is how it's true. Here, hold on, hold on. Okay, you tell Trevor, me. Trevor, is it true? Oh, hold on, Trevor. Trevor, is don't, it true? Don't answer it. Let him explain his his side, and I'll explain my side. I, I don't have to explain my side. Is it true? That impersonation? Yes. Last year, yeah. Yes. Okay, but listen. This year, still half. 
Okay, sometimes. But, sometimes. 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 Last year, I'll give it to you. Last couple years, yes. This year, I figured out what it is. When I'm on my way to the gym and I get to the gym, I'm very focused, I'm very serious. I like to get moving and get my blood flowing and get like kind of into the workout and then I'm good. But I, I realized that about myself this year is that like I get in my head and I just, I need to get my blood flowing. Because yes. even this week here, it's like I get to the gym, I'm like, oh geez, you know, it's going to be a, you know, I have to push through, you know. And then as I get my blood flowing, I'm like, all right, let's, you know. So you got to remember, man, you get to do this. Oh, no. This is what's so cool. I'm, right? I'm grateful, bro. You I love it. I, it. You know me, dude. It's just we both have the highest standards for ourselves. Yeah. And we just really want to make sure, like, we are giving it our all every day. And, 100%. And so, like, like, that's the thing. I don't like to joke around when I first get to the gym. But then once I get my blood flowing, get sweat going, I'm having some good sets. And then I'm like, dad joke. <laughs> that's it. Good job. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. Skinny tomorrow morning, it's time to get huge. He's gonna feed me up IHOP, Five Guys, Chick fil A, KFC, Taco Bell. Don't forget Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Five Guys for five titles. Five Guys for five titles? You said it. <laughs> We're going after this. <laughs> yeah, after weigh-ins. After weigh-ins tomorrow. Don't get me too excited. I know, look at him, man. He literally said it yesterday.
All right, guys, we just got done working with all the guys. Sebum just finished. We had Hadi earlier, then Derek. They're back in the rooms. They're eating. They're putting their feet up. They're getting ready, showered up, cleaned up for that athlete check-in for the men's open. Now Chris is just going to go get ready so that he can get ready to be able to draw down to weigh in tomorrow for their men's classic physique check-ins first thing in the morning. So again, it's going to be a crazy, crazy time. Everyone's in their individual plans. Everybody's slightly different. and the thing that I get asked the most is what's going on in my head. To be honest with you guys, the way I think of things, I compartmentalize them to the person. Basically giving the information that I need to one athlete, then going on to the next, then going on to the next, and then resetting again and having the other check in about two to four hours later. So that's how often we're making changes at this point. Bodies change very quickly. We're adjusting sodium levels, we're adjusting water, we're adjusting all the different macros. So when we see macros, we're talking about not just carbs, but also fat and protein right now. So all of these things are going on. So hopefully this gives you an inside look of what we do and uh, how we do it. So again, tons of stress. I, I can't reiterate enough. Everyone says, well, aren't you stressed? Of course, everyone's stressed at this point because everyone is a winner here. Everyone's a winner. You have Derek who won the 212 a couple years ago, placed top two, which in my eyes is a huge win. We have Hadi who turned around and beat all odds and won last year. And then you have Chris who's going for number five right now. So everyone is on high alert. They're all trying to work at their best ability so that they can be able to have the, the most favorable outcome. So again, guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for following us. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and uh, share on social. Let me know what you guys think. I love all of your comments on YouTube. I appreciate you all. Let's go do this. All right, guys, we just got the check-ins. Patty and Derek just walk in. We got to go in there. They got to get their number. They got to get their music dialed in. They're going to have to turn around and talk about all the things that are going to be slightly different this year because the formatting always changes just a little bit every year. So we're going to go meet up with them. Uh, and get to see some fans because there's always fans at the check-ins too. So let's go do this. How about this? How about this? Let's go! Let's go, baby. So guys, huge announcement. We got seven-time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. Um, my groomsman, one of my best friends, and it's, I'm excited to finally say what is coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's my documentary, Breaking Olympia, Phil Heath's story. And what's great about it is, is that it's my story. If you've seen other documentaries, just erase it out of your head. This is unprecedented because we actually signed with a Hollywood studio, Universal Pictures, global release with Seven Bucks Productions, with Danny Garcia, Dwayne Johnson. We've already won two uh, awards over at the Florence Italy Film Festival. Um, needless to say, I'm very, very excited for it. The trailer comes out tomorrow. It's huge. Yeah. And it actually has this guy's voice at the very beginning. And it's very, very powerful. Of course, the story of me getting ready for the Olympia dur during COVID, but not only that, my entire life parts of me that you have never even thought you would hear. The vulnerability on my end, um, you're just, it's, it's a great film. It'll be released 2024 in March, uh, shortly after Arnold Classic UK, but we're very, very excited. Um, the trailer is freaking sick. I mean, 
it's it's amazing. I can't. I haven't even seen the trailer yet. No, I had to I'm, hold it back from him because, of course, he's the trainer and he's got to keep these guys in line. I wanted to show it to him, but he's got a lot of more work to do. It would get him too riled up. Okay. But here's here, here's who's in. You got this guy. You got myself. You got Kai. You got Jay. You got Brandon Curry. You got Ronnie. You've got ah. Uh, even Hottie's in it a little bit. You have this guy named Dwayne Johnson <laughs> and one of my really good friends, Tim Grover. Um, Steve Weinberger's in it. A lot of, I mean, oh, my wife. She narrates the majority of it, which is amazing. She did a great job. But uh, overall, it's, I, I'm biased, but I'm going to say it's going to rival Pump and I. No, no bullshit. It just, well, I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it. I'm waiting for the trailer to come out tomorrow. So I'm by the time you I'm watch I'm going to show him the whole thing when I see him at his house. Because he <laughs> needs to see it in a theater room of some sort. You can't just be seeing it on the phone or on a laptop. He's got to see it with like the, the Dolby Atmos, all the, all the cool stuff. Well, it's called Breaking Olympia. By the time you guys watch this, you'll see it on his Instagram, my Instagram. We're going to be posting up the trailer and link to be able to get notified when the actual movie comes out, the release in March. So guys, get, make sure you stay tuned to Phil's channel, my channel, for the upcoming Breaking Olympia documentary. <laughs> All right guys, so we couldn't get much out there um, because of the fact that it's a lockdown check-in, um, but everybody checked in successfully. So we had Hadi as well as Derek. Um, they both did some interviews afterwards with the Olympia channel, so you can go check that out. But also um, got to see some fans, and then we also got to see seven times Mr. Olympia himself, he came by. So got to spend some time with him. Uh, and again, talking about his new trailer that's gonna be coming out. So by the time you watch this, it should be out uh, on his documentary, so called Breaking Olympia. Um, so again, guys, thank you for following us. Another very, very long day. I am going to, uh, try to get one more look at all of the athletes late tonight but these guys got to go edit and um, we'll talk all about it in the morning basically